Well, hello, strange people, and welcome back to the channel. I've uh, completed Einstein's theory of stupidity, and I've made the same mistake twice, and I've made it better. I, uh, I came here this time last year, and I came in via the same route, thinking that I could probably cross the river um, on some stepping stones back there and I couldn't do it last year and we hadn't had half the rain that we had we have had in the last few days so uh, what made me think I could cross the stepping stones this year I have no idea anyway got my pack on the hope is that I'll camp um, the problem is I may not because I've now had to do quite a detour to get to a bridge further up here um, the problem is I may not get to where I wanted to go to, but um, we'll see, because also uh, the military are firing out there today apparently, so uh, I can't go too far into the moor anyway, and the camping zone starts a fair old distance up there. So. Uh, and I don't like pitching in the dark. I'm somebody who likes to be settled for at least an hour before dark. So uh, we'll have to see whether we camp or not. If we don't camp, well, we're going to have a nice hike anyway because um, coming down the hill over there, I could see the waterfalls were looking absolutely glorious. So if nothing else, we'll get to have a look at them. But anyway, I'm waffling and I'm wasting time. So I'll catch you very soon. Well, this simple hiking, camping trip is turning into a bit of an adventure. I'm not too far from where I wanted to camp, focus, which is a few, few hundred yards that way. The weather is closing in on me quite quickly now, but on top of that, I've done my knee again. and. Uh, it's something different this time. I'm getting a sharp shooting pain just below the kneecap every now and again, which literally, literally causes my leg to crumple. It lasts, it literally only lasts a second or so, but that sharp pain is absolute agony, and I've got a feeling it could be cartilage. So going back is not much of an option at the moment. I'm hoping that uh, if I can rest it up tonight, it'll uh, be okay to go. It's all downhill tomorrow, nearly all downhill tomorrow. Which is the story of my life. But uh, I'm sort of cont half contemplating just knocking where I wanted to camp on the head and going up to Doe Tour. There might be a bit more shelter up there. Tell you what, I'll bring you back and you'll have seen what my decision is. The Doe Tour is not quite as far to walk tomorrow either. You'll see what I've decided in a minute. I'm all uh, out of focus. Right, so tents all up. 
This is uh, Will Frederick. A lot of people don't like camping here because they find it a bit spooky, but uh, I think this is one of the most marvellous places on the moor. It's a wonderful spot. Um, there is, I, I did make a film here, well, this time last year. Um, I will put a link to it below for anybody that hasn't seen it. It, it basically explains how this, this, um, this mine worked. Um, I walk along the leet into where the water wheel was and the stamping room or the knacking room, depending on where you come from. And uh, this building here, which was either the uh, manager's office or the blacksmith's, but I think it's probably the, the, uh, the manager's office, maybe his house even. Uh, so yeah, I keep going in and out of focus. I may swap for my GoPro in a minute if I film any more tonight. It is starting to get a little bit dark. The red flag's flying up on the hill. So uh, may end up with a firework display tonight or even helicopters coming in to attack the positions. Who knows? Be interesting. Or it may be a peaceful night, or I might wake up with a load of Pongos here tomorrow. Pongo army. Everywhere the army goes, the Pongos. Sorry, Jimmy and Lee and anybody else that was in the army. Right. I'll catch you in a mo. I'm going to have a brew and just take in the ambiance. Well, that's me all uh, settled in and uh, fed and watered. I think uh, I'm probably going to uh, have an early night, get my head down, listen to the wind and the, uh, which I've actually died down a little bit now, and uh, listen to the brook, which is only about 20 yards away from me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the morning. Catch you in the morning. Well, good morning, strange people. It's, uh, Bit of blustery old night, a few showers. Um, as you can see, quite misty at the moment. Just uh, standing in the building, but out of the wind. Uh, the weather forecast is uh, pretty dire, so I'm going to uh, be making my way off the moor. Uh, weather forecast is for very heavy rain coming in this afternoon. It's, uh, just after nine now, I had a hell of a sleep. As always, as I always do when I'm outside in the tent. So, uh, I don't think I'm even gonna bother with breakfast. I'm gonna pack down and get the hell out of Dodge. This must've been a hell of a place to live at one time. That's the room that I think was probably the bedroom. It's a uh, slightly smaller fireplace. And this one with its much larger fireplace. So that is quite some lintel on there. That's uh, it's at least six foot, at least. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll be packing down. I was reading up on the history of this mine uh, the other day. It was. Uh, probably said in the other video actually but I would, I'd re, re sort of uh, refreshing my mind 
It was uh, started up in around about 1845, lasted until the 1880s. But the first uh, permission to mine here was given in 1598. And that was probably, in those days, you'd have had what was called a bound. And it's a bit like uh, staking a claim. So a miner would have come out and he'd have thought, oh, that's a good spot to do some mining. And what he did is he put four uh, rock piles on each corner, sorry, a rock pile on each of the four corners of his area, and that was called a bound. He then have to go to the stannery parliament, which is the mining parliament for the area, and um, register it. Didn't matter who owned the land, he could do that, but he had to pay the um, land owner a set amount, uh, I think it was called toll tin. So he had to pay the uh, mine owner a certain amount of the tin that he pulled out of the ground. It was only four tin. And um, he could either play, pay in black tin, which is the ore, or white tin, which is the refined proper tin. when bounding actually became the the miner was known as a bounder I don't know when it became um, um, what's the word I'm looking for here not common practice anymore I should imagine the same sort of time as the uh, as the streamers um, stopped which were about the late 1700s early 1800s the the, the uh, legal term then became a set. That's a legal term for a um, tin mine. And you only get sets in Devon and Cornwall, I believe. Actually, I believe you might have them on the Isle of Man as well. But um, yeah, a, a set is a legal term for a, a tin mine. And again, you'd have had to give a certain amount to the landowner. Um, I think you had to pay a tax on it as well. A government tax so you'd need a pretty successful mine to actually uh, operate right it's enough waffling I really need to uh, pack down and get out of here or I am going to get a soaking as I said the winds up a little bit set to get a little set to get a boat go force eight which isn't any more than a very stiff breeze, but if it's pouring, there will rain as well. And there is a bit of a warning for the rain, so I think it's wise to get the hell out of here. Catch you in a moment. As always, leave no trace, that's where I was. The mist is just starting to rise, which reminds me. If uh, you are coming to Dartmoor and you're not <coughs> totally familiar, you can look online for the firing times when the army or whatever up are on the ranges up here. Um, this morning with the mist, the red flags, you couldn't see the red flags. Uh, you can just barely, uh, the GoPro won't pick it out now, but you can just barely see the red flag now on the ridge. So always check the firing times if you're coming onto the north part of Dartmoor. Uh, south's okay, but the north side of Dartmoor, always check the firing times. It, um, you wouldn't want to get caught by a load of pongos out there in the middle of a battle. Right, I think I've got everything. I'm going to make my way now. My knee has twinged again this morning so it's going to be a slow walk off uh, I don't know if I'll film anymore uh, if I don't thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you again soon if I do I'll see you in a minute